EpiCenter is the expanded perception and interaction center and it's the most powerful medical visualization center in the world. In medicine today, we're dealing with data that spans the range of the micro to the macro, from the subcellular data imaging right through to whole population analytics. EpiCenter is focused on creating new visualization paradigms for the burgeoning digital data that medicine is creating today. It takes this data and liberates it from our small desktop screens to enable researchers really to get inside data sets, also fusing multiple data sets together in what we call data fusion. Data fusion is actually at the centre of this whole science art enterprise. We can get so much more understanding by looking at the data in different ways. Which is not just bringing them together but actually creating transformational algorithms to give us better insight into what's going on in the human body. What it means for us is that we can see the way our new drugs work to attack childhood cancer and also other adult cancers as well. We can step inside a three-dimensional representation of the architecture of the cell and watch it as it's being taken apart by our drugs. This is the transformation from a two-dimensional world to a three-dimensional world. The main visualization capacity that we're building at EpiCenter include a panoramic screen. It's only seven meters diameter, but it is 120 million pixels in 3D. We'll be using the cylinder to simulate a number of different mental states and the experience of moving through the world. So for example, through the sensory uh, and perceptual apparatus of an aging person or someone with psychosis. And this we think will be of great value to clinicians, to patients, to carers, but also to the general population. Another visualization framework is the hemispheric and we have a full dome environment for that. It's the highest resolution full dome in Australia. I work in the brain, and at the moment when we look at the brain, we have to look at it in two dimensions on a flat screen. And we all know that the brain isn't a two dimensional organ. So being able to put it back into its original space, into its brain space, but also being able to see it in a seven metre wide space, means that not only I, but also everyone in my group will be able to go in and look at the data and walk around literally inside the brain. So it will revolutionise the way that we are looking at our data. The sheer volume and complexity of data that we'll then be able to manage in this new facility will, we think, get our arms right around this problem in a way that we just physically haven't seen it before. We're dealing with visualisation paradigms that are 30 years old and these new systems are extremely powerful tools to be able to make significant breakthroughs in medicine today.